Social media, yes, no good, has its negative impact. Let me first thank you for condemning the wanton killing and carnage that happened at Lekki. When I went through the comments, I did not believe it. The curses, the abuses from children. You don't win election, so you don't care anymore. 29 million, you be seeing it all. You don't know much also, but you say me you not talk we will not forget and we will not stop crying october 20th 2020 was the day innocent nigerians were killed were massacred at the lucky target I am Julie Uche, and I am a proud Nigerian. Today marks the one-year anniversary where we lost our heroes. And today, in solidarity, we decided to move out and have a peaceful protest. Today, we stand in solidarity. We stand in solidarity, and we are crying, and we will not stop singing. We will, not, we will not stop screaming. We will not stop, stop speaking to the authorities to do something about the massacre on Lekki Toll Gates. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel, thank you for hopping in. In my space, I talk about social issues that affect our people. I talk about our realities. Sometimes I talk about things like this because they matter to our essence. I am a Nigerian, born and bred. I was one of those people who came out on October I celebrated my birthday last year, October 17th, right at the toll gate. I had a live video. I experienced the euphoria. I experienced everything. I saw people speaking, crying, praying for a better Nigeria. But unfortunately, just when it looked like um, our movement was beginning to make sense, I see it, when it suddenly looked like we were beginning to get the attention of people from far and wide, some people, some people in power decided to shut our lips. Um, it's been one year, a lot of young, innocent Nigerians were killed at the Lekki Toll Gate. And we're still screaming. We're still remembering these fallen heroes. Um, and we know that one day justice will be served in the right proportion. Today, 20th um, October 2021, marks exactly one year we lost these heroes. And we are back. We are back. We are back at Lekki Toge to tell the government, to tell people, to tell the world that we will not be silenced no matter what. We are Nigerians. We believe in Nigeria. And we know that regardless, things will get better. Um, we will get what we want. And of course, justice, like I would always say, will prevail. So all the Nigerians out there who are speaking up, who are also remembering these heroes, God bless you. Um, I'm going to say God bless Nigeria. Um, guys, just follow me while I take you through the journey of what happened today, 20th October 2021. And right now, I'm so speechless. I have so many things to say, but I'd rather not say them. Um, you're probably going to be watching videos, clips of previous events that happened at the Lekki Toll Gate. And I'm going to be sharing some recent um, things of the things that happened also today on the one year anniversary. The NSAS Memorial one year anniversary was a success with a lot of notable Nigerians coming out, um, like Folari, um, Fals Bad Guy, popularly called Fals Bad Guy, who actually started and actually was a lead um, person um, in the NSAS movement. So it started um, with a message being shared on 19th that. People should come for a car procession um, between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And it was impressive to see Nigerians responding and really coming out you know, from their comfort zone to be a part of this memorial um, for the fallen heroes and um, people who died. Yeah, let's go. Not to the Not to the We don't commit any offense. Jump a rose, jump a rose, jump a rose, jump a rose. 
And other notable influencers like Steph Busari also went to live on her Instagram page to show um, what happened um, on 20th October 2021. It's very peaceful. The things have not escalated in the way that we hope to, even though the protesters. And um, we thank God it was a success. But uh, even though, um, unfortunately, we noticed that there were still some arrests. Totally overwhelmed the police, and we are sure that the police have not learned their lesson. Why do you want to overwhelm the police? Because we see that there's so much injustice in Nigeria. Oh, in Nigeria, look at them. Look at them rapping again. Look at them rapping. Okay, don't touch me now. Okay, no. I have a lot to say, um, but you know, for now, this is for the Fallen Heroes. Um, God bless Nigeria. We're here, and we hope that things will keep getting better. We know one day we will, we will be heard, and of course, we cannot be silenced. We will not forget. We will not forget what happened on 20th October 2020. Everybody who believes in a great Nigeria, we know that our dreams are valid and our voices will be heard. We will not be silenced. We will not be bullied. We will not stop talking about the things that has happened. And we know that we're going to see a better Nigeria. Sorosoke. This Sorosoke generation is here to stay and we will not stop sorosoke <laughs> God bless Nigeria. God bless every Nigerian youth out there that is working hard, that is trying to make and see things work and get better. And we know that we will get to dreamland very soon. At this point, I think I just would end this by saying, I believe in Nigeria. My father's land. The land of milk and honey. The land that sees evil and speaks about evil the land that believes that tomorrow will be better the land that believes that justice will come at the right time and it will be served to the right people a land that believes that today might be denied but tomorrow will lead us to the promised land i believe in nigeria the country where natural resources are in abundance a country where human resource <laughs> is plentiful a country where ideas flourishes and flows from all perspectives of our lives a land filled with milk and honey a land that has seen a lot of battles a land that has struggled a land that has seen a lot of tears a land that has made the people resilient a land that has been so hard to conquer, but a land that proves that good things take time to come. And if the hope is right, good things will surely come. I believe in a Nigeria, I believe in a Nigeria that would give me my dreams. I believe in a Nigeria that would allow me to live my dreams. I believe in a Nigeria that would help me be who I want to be. I believe in a Nigeria that would allow me to speak about my pain and my win. I believe in a Nigeria that I will be able to live in and prosper in. I believe in Nigeria because as Nigerians, we believe this is home and we can't run away. We're here to protect, to fight, to live, and to see ourselves flourish into being better people. And of course, having a better economy. Arise, O oh compatriots, Nigeria's call obey to serve our Father's land with love and strength and faith. 
the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. To serve with earth and might, one nation bound in God bless Nigeria. Sorosuki. Nigeria. Yeah. Am I owing anybody money? Oh. Uh, it's my right. you social media yes do good has its negative impact let me first thank you for condemning the wanton killing and carnage that happened at Lekki. when i went through the comments i did not believe it the curses the abuses from children you don't win election so you don't care the killer so that's okay. my life. Lekki is before this is started without your